Good morning to you. It's a great Sunday morning. Thank you for waking up with us on 12 News Today. I'm Brent Solomon and we have team coverage tonight with Brittany McDonald standing by at the hospital where the victims were taken. But first, Kelly Avellino is live right now outside of the Mallard Cove Apartments. That's off of Price Club Boulevard. Kelly, what can you tell us right now? Some ramp closures you'll need to know about probably starting Friday, right? Tracy Lynn standing by with your traffic alert. Hey there. Hey there. All right, bring on the sunshine. Thank you, Megan. Well, a nightmare is unfolding in North Texas right now. Great work, Mark. Thank you. Remember, you can find your latest news and weather updates on our website, NBC12.com. Well, right now I'm joined by a special guest, Stacy Brinkley, to talk about a big event tomorrow, the Fancy Hat Party. And I bet you're really in for a treat the way you've just described it for me. Absolutely. Call 12 lines are open. As you can see, volunteers are right here from Radio 1 and even Richmond Parks and Rec, and they're taking your pledges all day. We look forward to seeing you right here tomorrow. We hope you have a great Sunday. We are right on the front lines. As you can see behind me, officers are lined up, ready to go, prepared for the very worst. Over my shoulder here, you can see the cranes and heavy machines right here at the site. I want to walk right over here and show you. And the hope is that by making Brown's photo go viral, it will lead police straight to his whereabouts. The former governor could start serving his prison sentence any week now. That is unless the U.S. Supreme Court decides to step in. Now, why on earth would anyone target your license plates? That's the question police are answering when you join us for the news in one hour. On your side in Richmond, Brent Solomon, 12 News. We are entering what is perhaps one of the busiest travel seasons of the summer, and many vacation goers made their plans to come right here to the Outer Banks. But now that this area is making national headlines, it's left quite a few people here literally scratching their heads. The serene sound of the waves here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and the natural charm of the ocean are enough to excite 14-year-old Jordan Jackson. And I love going diving for seashells. Which is why he couldn't keep calm when his parents told him they were taking a trip to the Outer Banks from their home in Pittsburgh. But mom is concerned about the seven shark attacks within just the past three weeks. They happened hours away from Kitty Hawk, but are having a chilling effect all along the coast. It and definitely crossed my mind. I'm nervous. My oldest one likes to go out a little bit further. We're just very cautious now. And they're not the only ones. They were in supposed to be in warmer waters, and this water is very cold. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully they're not going to be up here. With some vacation goers adamant about not taking any chances, those fears have impacted a lot of the businesses right here along the beach. Everyone's kind of getting a little nervous to get into the ocean. A negative consequence for Jared Jennings, who runs Smiley Surf Shop, even though his shop is some 80 miles away from the most recent shark attacks. Sales are definitely down. Um, you know, we can. every person that comes up to the beach asks me the same question. What about the sharks? Vacation goers still seem to be flocking to the Outer Banks as ocean rescue crews make their presence known, offering peace of mind for beach lovers like this 14-year-old who just wants to explore without limitations. Will you watch out for the sharks, man? I will. Will you do that for me? Yes. All right, be careful out there. It's our favorite vacation spot, so no sharks are going to keep us away. To put this into perspective for you, researchers say there are about 70 to 100 shark attacks a year, and that's worldwide. As of now, there are no plans to close any of the beaches here on the Outer Banks, and that's where we're on your side. Brent Solomon, NBC 12. Now. Good morning to you. It's a great Sunday morning. Thank you for waking up with us on 12 News Today. I'm Brent Solomon. Let's kick things off with a check on your forecast. Meteorologist Megan Wise standing by. Hey there, Megan. Good evening. It's good. We'll see you shortly. New overnight in Richmond. Police say a man is in the hospital after someone shot him in the face. Officers tell us they found that victim in the 2200 block of DeForest Street around 2 this morning. He was rushed to the hospital where he is in stable condition. Police are still looking for a suspect, though, so if you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 780-1000. Also happening overnight in Henrico, police say three men robbed an Encano Lodge at gunpoint. It happened around 2.15 this morning in the 5200 block of Williamsburg Road. Police say the clerk told them three masked men came into the hotel and demanded money while well, one of them was holding a gun. We're told the clerk handed over the cash and then the men took off. Police are still looking for those three guys, so if you have any information, call Henrico Police at 
5,000. Let's take you to Richmond now, where family and friends gather to remember an 18-year-old who was shot and killed last weekend in a triple shooting. While his killer is still on the loose, those closest to Jaquan Clark are honoring his life and begging for an end to gun violence. Our Drew Wilder has more. Drew, thanks. In Hopewell right now, police are investigating a double shooting that left one man dead and another in critical condition. Witnesses say it all started following an argument outside the Davisville apartment complex around 1 yesterday afternoon. Well, when it ended, officers say 18-year-old Jeremiah Pierce was left dead from a gunshot wound to the neck. Right now, a woman in Shenandoah Valley facing some serious charges after police say she overdosed on drugs with two kids in the car. Officers arrested Jennifer Patrick Tuesday after police say she fell unconscious from prescription pills. And an uproar at a Newport News mall after hundreds of teens break out into several fights near the food court. Police say they responded to a call at the Patrick Henry Mall after 5 last night. Shoppers ran out of the mall and some stores also closed their gates. A 17-year-old female hurt her face, but police say she refused treatment. Officers broke up the fights and escorted the teens who were involved off of the property. No arrests were made. There are some road closures that may affect your morning commute. So our Candace Smith is in the first warning traffic center with everything you need to know. Good. Great work, Candace. Thank you. Well, in 34 years, Frank Beamer has now coached more than 400 career games, winning nearly 300 of them. And last night, getting that one victory to send his legendary career out on a high note. Over in Henrico now, we're learning a dog that was stolen from her owner at the Humane Society. Good news, that dog has been found. The group put out a plea last week to help find the English bulldog named Cashew. Well, we've posted this on our Facebook page and many of you are commenting the dog has been returned to the Humane Society. Those details just came into our newsroom overnight, so we're working to update you once we know a little bit more about what happened to her. And it's what we call Selfie Sunday around here. We're keeping up with the morning's top headlines on social media. So take a photo of yourself and send it to us. Post it on our Facebook page. You may make the news. We're up to the minute. The minute you're up. Well, a family in Florida has a warning for all parents after their child almost died from the flu. Have a great day, everybody. Great work, Mark. Thank you. Remember, you can find your latest news and weather updates on our website, NBC12.com. And we'll be right back with the final look at your forecast coming up after the break. Good. Could see a little bit of sunshine break through the clouds if we're lucky. Bring that sun, Megan. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, look at your screen right now. This is another selfie. Susan sent us this one. It's not really a selfie, but it's a picture of Star. And Star is watching Megan do her weather forecast. Aw, thanks, Star. A star watching a star. <laughs> well, that's kind. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank you for participating, Susan. We look forward to seeing you right here tomorrow. We hope you have a great Sunday.